Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. Uh, just a quick note that this will be recorded and I will make it available to you on our YouTube channel and email a link to you. So I want to keep this short and sweet, so let's go ahead and get moving so you can get back to your day. Here I have a standard definition of sales forecasting for you, so go ahead and take a second to glean that while I talk to you here a little bit. So that definition sounds good, but sales forecasting means a lot of different things depending on who you talk to and the context of that discussion. Sales forecasting is a crucial piece of supply chain planning. Many companies struggle because they lack the expertise, the data, and the tools to create an accurate forecast. We're going to talk about all of this today. As I mentioned before, everybody has a different opinion. If you ask somebody in your accounting, they may think of sales forecasting in respect to budgets and how the sales forecast will support departmental budgets as well as overall corporate financial planning. If you ask a salesperson about forecasting, they're going to immediately think of a sales forecast in terms of units and revenue in their customer relationship management system. Unfortunately, very few people ever ask the poor supply chain planners what they need in respect to sales forecasting. Yet, this is, has one of the greatest impacts on the financial success of the organization. Jump on to how these different departments can work with the supply chain planners to successfully and accurately forecast sales and demand. Every company develops their sales forecast differently because every company is different, even those in similar or the same industries. With that said, there are a few different ways to manage sales forecasting which are directly related to those people who are developing the forecasts and their roles in your company. In some industries, the best people to create your sales forecasts are in fact the sales rep themselves who are selling the products. This is common in custom or highly engineered product environments or in cases where internal planners and automated systems do not have insight into customer demand. This makes it almost impossible for internal material planners to predict future sales. Likewise, there is no relevant sales history to use for automated system generated sales forecasts. The best approach is to link your sales forecast in your CRM system to your ERP for supply chain planning. Realize that some sales reps will be very good at forecasting demand, while others may not be quite as accurate in respect to expected close dates or units. Below are some best practices to consider when using sales reps to help determine sales forecasts for supply chain planning. Make sure that you use your CRM fields to capture information that is meaningful to your supply chain planners, not just your sales team. Planners won't necessarily care about the expected close date for a sale if the demand for the item won't fall until a future period and they have adequate lead time to procure the necessary products and resources. Also ensure that your CRM system has a field note quantity and unit of measure for the forecasted demand as many companies sell in different units of measure than those in which they buy a product or in which they manufacture the product. Forecast accuracy. Some sales reps are exceptional at forecasting, but others aren't quite so good analyze previous forecast accuracy by sales reps by item to determine how accurate their forecasts are. As a planner, you can then make the necessary adjustments for your supply chain forecasts. For example, if Sally Smith is 80% accurate and is usually on the low end of her forecast in respect to quantity and always a month early on when her sales will actually occur, you can easily adjust her forecast down by 20% and then move them out a month. This isn't a perfect scenario, but forecasting is never perfect, as we all know, and this approach may be your best option. Your supply chain planners and buyers need to have some freedom in managing demand forecasts. While sales reps may have their hands on the pulse of the market in future sales, it's the planner and the buyer who often have better understanding of demand patterns. As such, you may want to take a collaborative approach when CRM sales are made available to planners who utilize this information to develop their own demand forecasts. And accounting managers typically look at sales forecasts strictly from a financial perspective or in respect to budgeting. As a best practice, finance, sales, and supply chain management should collaborate on forecasts to meet each other's needs. Financial forecasts are important to the supply chain planners and buyers as budgets do have a direct impact on their ability to staff up when demand spikes, lay off when demand is light, or for capital expenses, for new machinery, tooling, and other resources to meet forecasted demand. There's really only one thing to know here. Don't leave your supply chain planners in the dark. These individuals have a deep understanding of supplier relationships and internal manufacturing processes that affect their ability to deliver products to customers on time. Planners are in tune with recent shifts in demand and have the experience needed to develop, to develop forecasts based on practical, real-world experience. With that said, supply chain planners too often have no visibility into the sales department's forecast and even less visibility into forecasts created by the accounting department. 
So as mentioned before, all of these departments should be working together. History repeats itself, and not everyone is a statistical genius. So, in many cases, previous history is an indicator of future demand, and these tools will help you figure out what you need to buy, when you need to buy it, and how much of it you need to have on hand at any given time. Systems are available to analyze demand history by item, by customer, and by period to predict future demand for those items, taking into account growing product lines, declining demand for products, and fluctuations in demand for seasonality and marketing promotions. Statistical forecasting and the use of automation systems isn't right for every company, but it may be the best option for you. Distributors and manufacturers have a very hard job balancing supply and demand. Despite their best efforts, they often make mistakes. Some mistakes can't be avoided, but some can, and technology has a huge role in helping them make the best decisions to minimize costs while meeting or exceeding customer expectations. Even smaller companies should evaluate their sales forecasting and requirements planning processes to identify areas where they can improve. It's a common misconception that some companies may feel they're too small for these sort of programs. Most general accounting and ERP business systems provide very little in respect to sales forecasting and DRP or MRP planning, but there are no other options available. That is why E2B Technologies developed Anytime Supply Chain to extend your accounting or ERP's business system. I have up on the screen there some of the main features and benefits of Anytime Supply Chain for your reference. If you have any questions on these, please reach out to me. I'll have my contact information at the end. So a little bit more about E2B. E2B Technologies is the Chardon, Ohio-based publisher of Anytime Supply Chain supply chain management application designed for small and mid-side distributors and manufacturers. We also develop Anytime Collect accounts receivable, credit and collections management software, and Anytime Commerce, an e-commerce storefront application for a business-to-business -business company. All right, so I know this webinar was quick and we, only, and we only began to dip our toe in, but now that I have you thinking, please reach out with any questions you may have. You can contact me by phone or by email. Um, another really great resource for you guys is going to be Adam Lynch. He'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you prefer to do your own research, visit the Anytime Supply Chain website listed here. Uh, there's a lot of information there for you, as well as a few white papers you'll find very interesting. So thank you again for spending your time with me today, and I hope to speak with you all very soon.